What is up, y'all? We are out here at the levee. Once again, I didn't actually come here this trip to really wakeboard that much. We actually came here to sort of build some new features over there on the drop. We're kind of in the process of that right now, but I figured this morning while it's kind of still cold out, I'll just uh, maybe go take a POV set and cruise around, have some fun out there, just so we can get you guys video. All right, I'm ready when you're ready. <laughs> we got ourselves a Butterfest. Let's go. So I think I'm gonna do something. I don't think I've really done with you guys here before, but maybe just like a miniature cable park tour. We'll start with the far right rail. The swoop is closed right now. We're building something, but the flat drop flat. pretty nice i don't really hit that one that often but i do think it's a, a pretty sick one to have this rail i've never actually hit before but we call it the pussy box and it's basically just kind of like a down rail box thing that pretty much anyone can hit for all levels of riding this one is probably the most difficult rail in the park it's the double kink it's kind of hard to get a full pull But uh, yeah, I'd say that's for more like advanced riders and up. And this uh, down rail is just kind of like a more intermediate type of feature. And we have the flat rail, the lander, which is also pretty intermediate. Maybe the ollie on is a little more advanced, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice and kind of fun. The pole jam cannon kind of thing is probably the most intimidating rail, but it's pretty easy. The only thing that's difficult about that one is just kind of the landings are pretty hard. You're almost being pulled back towards the cable, so you don't really get that travel. So the landing is pretty heavy on that one. And if you do want to opt out of the pole jam, you can hit the kicker itself and gap over the land gap into the top lake. It is slightly intimidating. But as long as you kind of give it a little bit of gas, you're for sure gonna make it into the top lake without casing the grass. Also, I think I lied earlier about the most difficult feature being the double kink. I do think that this corrugated pipe right here is extremely sketchy just because of how like wide out it is. And also, while you're going up the corrugated pipe, your rope does slightly clip on the big giant pole jam. Oh, and I don't know how I forgot, but the hallway, the most beginner feature right in the middle, That one might be my favorite just because you can wheelie down it, wheelie up it, and it serves as a pretty nice landing ramp. I've never really taken the time to go up any of the features at the levee, but let's try a backboard up the incline PVC pipe. And maybe we can try and go across the center deck. We'll do 50 on the double kink and then hop 50 on the PVC. And uh, front side 360 out this time. Back for the white PVC, drop down to the wood deck and hop over to the flat PVC. Let's go the other way across the deck. Same, same, but other way 270 out. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm definitely trying to stay dry right now. Let's try to do a backside 270 into the hallway. That worked out much better than I anticipated. I want to try and tap the pole jam going backwards, I think. Nice. I am currently still trying to stay dry, but maybe we could do a tail tap backside 180.
we go. Let's go through the double kink, but ramp off the flat bit, backside 270. And 270 the other direction. Let's go across the hallway like earlier, but back five out of the incline rail. Oh, and I got wet. I think it's gonna be one fall and done today, so let's do a Superman and let go. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video out here at the levee. I thought it was pretty cool to give you guys a little tour over there on the drop. I did forget to kind of show you guys the kicker and the rail and the bottom lake. I really honestly don't hit those two that often just because those are sort of normal rails that are in sort of every other cable park. But as for the rest of the features in the park, I think this is definitely the most unique cable park in all of Texas. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a ton of fun. Make sure you guys go follow the levee on Instagram. I'm sure a bunch of us and the boys are gonna come back out here soon and just film a huge video of everyone and kind of just have fun around the park. I think it's gonna be really, really sick once it starts warming up a bit more here in Texas. And uh, yeah, we'll start getting more into the riding. If you guys did like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever so make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.